Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 928. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 926 to 929, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a grading example. We have either in this column here, we have student names, and we either get a grade of plus, minus, or zero. And we need the text grade and number grade. Here's going to be our, here's our lookup table, right? In the first column we have a list of the items we're looking up. We're either looking at plus, minus, or zero. Then in the second column we have the words we want to return to this column. And in the third column of our lookup table we have the numbers we want to return here. All right now the key uh, for this first example is that I'm going to sort this first column. So when you're sorting, you have field names at the top, and you have make sure you have blanks all the way around your data set, and then you click on a single cell, right, I'm in a single cell on the column in which I want to sort, right click, sort, and I'm going to say A to Z, all right, that's, so that's a requirement. You could also go up to the home ribbon and sort, data sort, A to Z. Once I have that, I can do a simple approximate match VLOOKUP. Now, what does VLOOKUP do? Equals VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP means we're looking something up. So lookup value, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to look one, look up whatever's in one cell to my left. Right now, it's looking up a plus. Comma, the table array, that's this. And this first column is sorted, A to Z. And I'm going to highlight the whole table first, second, and third column. And now when I copy this formula down, I need it locked down on the table. So I hit the F4 key to put the secret code in, the dollar signs. That means when I copy this, that blue box will move relatively, but that one will be locked, comma. And now I have to say which column has the value I want to return. Well, this text grade, first column, second column of the lookup table has the words I want to return. So I'm going to type a 2 here, telling the VLOOKUP that the thing I want to return to this cell is 2. We can leave this uh, fourth argument off because we've sorted the first column A to Z. Control, I uh, close parentheses, Control Enter. And now I'm going to double click and send this down. I point to my fill handle when I see that little crosshair or angry rabbit. I double click and send it down. And there we have our text grade. Now I want to copy this, create a second formula over here, but watch this. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy this in edit mode. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and control C. I'm copying it. So actually, let's look. Notice when I put this in edit mode, F2, the blue relative cell reference moves. So as I copy down, that's moving, but that green one is locked down on our table. So I want to cheat that relative cell reference there and copy this in edit mode. Control C, escape, click in cell D8, which is going to be the first cell in our number grade column. F2 to put it in edit mode and Control V for paste. Now I'm going to change this 2 to a 3. All right, so that means it's pulling not from the second column, but now it's going to get something from the third column and return it. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And we can see we have our text and grades return. Now, if you want to do this a slightly different way, instead of sorting it, if you had to have, so up here we have 0, minus, plus. But what if you wanted it absolutely, the table had to be sorted in the uh, Z to A, so biggest to smallest, descending. So I'm going to go down to sort and sort it Z to A, largest to smallest. Right, so if you had to do that, then that previous formula would not work. Equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to look up this value right here. I like the table. F4 key, comma, the second column has the number I want, the uh, text I want to return to the cell. And then finally, we use our fourth argument. Instead of the default approximate match, we want exact match. That means it will look up exactly the plus, minus, or zero. Now for this. Uh, Exact match, you can either double click and put in false, or zero will tell the VLOOKUP that this is a false or exact match. Control Enter, double click and send it down. I'm going to do that same trick, copy it in edit mode, escape, F2 to put it in edit mode, Control V and change the 3 to a 2. There are other ways to, to do that, but that's one quick and dirty way. And then I'm going to double click and send it down. So. 
That's how to look up either a 0, plus, or minus for a grading table and get either some words into our column or a number. All right, we'll see you next trick.